Today's adventure begins by looking at these two cute puppies here on a porch in Dubuque, Iowa, as a recording of this Saturday, April 13th, 2024. Starting off at Cable Car Square, downtown Dubuque, which is an incline railroad that's very similar to Angel's Flight in Los Angeles. I'm in Iowa. Who knew? Weather's nice. It's supposed to get up to low 70s today. It's not there yet, but it feels pretty good out right now. Yeah, I might have to come back at some point and do that. I'm going to be in this area for a series of days. Five or six more days. Five more days. I don't know, I lose track, but I'm here for a little while. There's also an incline railroad, I believe, in Chattanooga. If I remember correctly. And there's an incline miniature golf course railroad in Gatlinburg. But I always think of Angel's Flight. A lot of murals in this town too. The dungeon here, the dungeon LTD has a mural. There's a mural over here. A lot of newer murals mashed into the old buildings. Obviously no shortage of paint in this town. Now there are a few untouched, unpainted walls and some ghost signs here in town. I want to show those. Before doing the intro though, I want to point out the Hotel Julian where Sylvester Stallone stayed during filming the movie Fist from 1977 right after Rocky came out. In fact, the rumor is he stayed here and was riding Rocky II when they were filming Fist. And I wanted to watch the movie Fist, but it's not streaming anywhere. It's like nowhere to be found. So if you own a copy of Fist, consider yourself lucky. But parts of it were filmed in Dubuque. And he was riding Rocky II while he was filming Fist in here. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Actually a pretty pleasant day. I thought it was going to be a little colder here in Iowa. However, in the tri-state area, Ryan's here also. Howdy. Is this known as the tri-state area? Because across that bridge is Illinois that way, right? Yes. And then... Illinois right over there, Wisconsin's just right over there. So, Illinois, Wisconsin, all a couple miles from here. We're now in Dubuque, and we're just gonna peruse around, see what we can see. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Skate, skateboard, scooters, and motorized vehicles prohibited. Sounds like a song title. Mississippi River. The old man. Deep river. A lot of rules around here. Iowa's got a lot of rules. Well, that's Illinois right there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, East Dubuque, Illinois. Over here at the port of Dubuque is the shot tower. You said, what they make? What they make? What do they use this for? Lead bullets, kind of. Oh, I hear a train coming. Ooh. We might get a good train, train view going past us. Look at the windows leading up. Yeah, they would. Uh... That's hot molten lead, I think, on top. They drip it down, it would turn into spears or balls and a pool at the bottom. Wow. All right, I thought it was gonna be walking or going across this bridge, but in fact, it's going over that direction. So it's not coming down this bridge, dang. That'd have been epic. It's over on the Illinois side. All right, I gotta try to read this. It's a little far off, I'm zoomed in. Built in 1856. Lumber company to guard against fire is a watchtower. Also uses a watchtower. 
for the lumber company to guard against fire. The interior woodwork and top were destroyed by fire in 1911 and restored in 1961 by the citizens of town. And when you're at the base, you definitely tell how tall this thing is. Pretty cool. So it started at the top with the molten lead, then it would turn and go through a perforated pan and then there's the lead falling and then the water cools the lead balls right there interesting I'm going to abide by that policy I'm not gonna open that ah here it is I knew I'd see a moving train. I did. Compliments of Dubuque. I've said the word Dubuque more times today than I've say, said it in the last 10, 20 years of my life. Like, I don't know if I've ever said the word till today. Great old buildings through here. The Kirby building up here. Very unique looking. And then the courthouse right here with the steeple. A lot of ghost signs through this area, which are old advertisements that now kind of bleed through the you know, relics of the past. Drink more milk, ice cream. The top of the Kirby building I was showing is an office sign. And take a look at this old rusted out fan. It's not even working anymore, it's just pure rust. Yeah, Ryan was just mentioning you could picture Fisk happening through here. You can see Stallone. I don't know if this was part of it, but yeah, you got the cobblestone brick right there. And on the side of the wall here at the smokestack where that ice cream is, there's a California Orangeade mural on the side there. Yeah, that's, that's great. I definitely prefer this style over the, the brand new murals, but nostalgic, nostalgic guy. What is this here? Looks like a chain going through a... Or no, it's a bottle pouring porn jade out. Oh, it is. You're right. There's the bottle top. You're right. That is cool. Old star up there. Kirby Building, established 1876, went on to 1909. It used to be the FL Quality Building, or Quality FL. This is kind of neat, too, the top of this factory. Look like lightning rods shaped like birds. Look at that. The interesting looking building right here. This is a cultural family center. Kind of looks like the Quahanga building on Hollywood Boulevard a little bit with that little pylon there in the middle. There's a garage. It's been around for years. It's kind of where you play the Wheel of Fortune moments. Ghost sign overload. It's like AC of some sort. Then you got replace with original equipment. This one's a little tougher to make out. I love this though. You're just trying to figure out what the heck that says. Automotive parts. Something G Automotive Parts. Walking up to St. Luke's Methodist Church. Big brick church house. Oh, really look, pay attention to the bells up there. Bell tower. It's like a dozen big bells. A 
We've got them all up in there. We have turned onto Main Street, Dubuque, Iowa, Main Street. Wow, this is interesting. Iowa's first church. St. Luke's United Methodist Church is the outcome of the first church organized on what is now the state of Iowa. Nineteen thirty-three. Can we go inside? Can we go in? Yeah, okay. All right, I've been wandering around a lot, looking for coffee. Here's Jitters Coffee and Cafe. Welcome to Jitters. It's a good name for a coffee. Coffee place. Wow. They are not open late. <laughs> All right, ended up acquiring inside Jitter's Coffee and Cafe. A cup of coffee. Ryan got a smoothie. They feature Badger Brothers Coffee. Never heard of Badger Brothers. Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. I don't know if I've ever seen a coffee shop that closes at noon. Also, there's a bowling alley upstairs. Am I reading that right? Go up the stairs to the bowling alley. I guess no one in town drinks coffee post noon. <laughs> Could there be a bowling alley upstairs? Oh, interesting. Hey, you want to try it? See if it's open? There's another one as well. Look at the carpet. Interesting. It's a possibility. The carpet is very nostalgic and retro, like something you'd see in a bowling alley going up the stairs. Maybe it is a bowling alley upstairs. There's a clock tower right in the middle of the thoroughfare there. We go around it. Oh, can you drive through? Oh, you go around it. It's like a roundabout. There's an old restaurant sign right there. Mandarin Cuisine Restaurant. Mandarin Cuisine, Chinese Cuisine, and an old style sign here as well. Dang, I missed that classic truck. Let's see if I can get it from here. I heard it, but I didn't get it. Dang, that was cool. Didn't catch what kind it was though. Top of the clock tower, it is officially about eight minutes until there is no more coffee in town. Well, at least at that one place, because it's almost noon. The look in that way. Oh, interesting. You got the flowers or the trees blooming here. These are cherry blossoms. I think these are cherry blossoms. I think so, too. Just to show the magnitude of the clock tower and the cherry blossoms. I'm probably completely incorrect on what that is. And the Midwest One Bank has a very interesting structure up there. I don't really know what that is. What's this guy on the bike riding with? He's riding with another bike rack. I don't know what that is up there. Lights up. Don't really see clock towers like that in the middle of the street. Like it. Check out the Five Flags Theater. This place has been around for a while. Still hosts newer bands and things. However, on the corner of 4th and Main Street, hosted lots of public entertainment since the 1840s. Take a look at this. Superstars of the day have performed here, including Al Jolson himself. <laughs> Al freaking My Jolson. Gosh. Right? On the National Registry of Historic Places. Oh, I hear the clock tower ringing. Or a clock, it means church bells ringing. Yeah, church bells. Get the murals through here. It's like a bird cage. The vault restaurant is in an old German bank. That's where the church bells are coming from. Her 
perched up on the side of that brick building. Looks like a waving skeleton. At least that's my uh, represent, er, artistic representation I am soaking in right up there. Miracle Car Wash. That's a great old sign. Like how it has the arrow pointing down. This is a great old building right here. The Shot Tower Inn. Cocktails, sandwiches, and pizza. They've been serving for 56 years, and Meatloaf Monday is back. Is it, what is today? Maybe it's Saturday. Saturday. Uh, yeah. Still a few days till Monday. Well, I know what I could do on Monday. I probably won't, but yeah. All right, I'm hearing. This place, Odd Fellows, has something in the window. Which window is it in? It's front one. Is it a comedy club? It's a bar, tavern, and lounge. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ernest P. Worrell, Jim Varney right there. Home of the Swamp Water and Mini Me with a sweet mustache. <laughs> Somebody painted, somebody painted the Jim Varney. Oh yeah, you're right. It's on a canvas. That's pretty good. Know what I mean, Vern? That's great. Take a look at the front here. Walk-ins welcome. Interesting trades are considered. There's a creepy clown up top. And back in 1897, on this site, nothing happened. All right, that's interesting. That's a fox riding a horse, and the horse's hiney is a hand. This must be the police department. All right, we ended up going over to a downtown store, and they said to come back over here to Star Brewery and to check out some of the fist items that are in here. They also filmed Take This Job and Shove It in town. Robert Hayes from Airplane as well. Take a look at that, wow. Holy cow, man. The Federation of Interstate Truckers, fist. The man who wanted to win at any price. Right down there, you got Stallone walking with a stick. He's walking with like a bat right there. And they were saying maybe they have the DVD here. Possibly, maybe. Look how young Stallone is right there. There's a little paraphernalia down here. A couple of the pins, the local 302 pins. There's also the Federation of Interstate Truckers belt buckle right there. Now it doesn't say if it's screen used, but this looks like the big stick, like the bat that Stallone was holding right there. Maybe, I think they might have played the movie right here, but now you can't even watch it on the screen. It's like impossible to find that thing. Yeah, it's also amazing that you can't find the movie anywhere, especially on streaming, any streaming platform, and then the, the DVDs are very rare because the only recent American movie even comparable to Fist is The Godfather. Dang. This area over here is pretty awesome. Engine house number one. Old firehouse. Even has the bell tower up top. So when you're driving this way, you don't really notice this behind you unless you look in the rear view. So check it out. City of Dubuque, got the flags waving in the breeze over there. Got the bank off in the distance. You got a real, uh, just a random numbered stick right here. <laughs> This is awesome. Probably not used as a firehouse anymore. Engine house number one, the very first one. The Rafath building. Classic car alert. That worked out well. I only caught it for a moment. Down a little ways here at the Blue Room. Got the old Pepsi sign up there. And a mural 
of who the town is named for. Corner of East 6th and Central. Right there, Julian Dubuque. Take a look at this, Dottie's Meals and Lunches Cafe. This old neon, nice. This old signs here, the paintings on the side of the brickwork here. This old factory district. Relocated and rededicated in 71, interesting. Staring contest. I won. All right, made it back over here to the Incline Railroad. Mom and my sister have joined the party. Excited to do this. Oh, they were here earlier when I did my intro right here. They're still here. They're the Incline Railroad doggies. Hello again. How do you pronounce this name? Finalon? Finalon. What is it? Finalon, I think. Finalon Place Elevator Company. It's interesting they call it an elevator also. I've never seen an Incline Railroad called an elevator. Well, that's what they call it. Very big tourist attraction here in town. One way trip, $2, round trip, $4. Debit and credit cards not accepted. The shortest and steepest incline railroad in the world. In the world. Cable cars operated from above, get in and sit down, pull bell cord when ready. Operator will signal, car will move. You wanna tell the history of him, Ivy? I don't know the history behind it. What's the history behind it? A lawyer lived up there in that mansion. He had his offices down here and he had this built so it didn't take him the whole time to go around down the hill. Okay. So a lawyer built it to make it easier for him to get to work. Yes. Did we get in the Yep. We ring the buzzer. And then they bring it up from the top. Very quiet. Oh, doors are opening. Here. Doesn't seem that high up till you get up here, and then you get a really good view of the, of the town. Oh, the, the boat, yeah. That's the first one I've seen since I've been here. 
big tugboat out there on the river, Mississippi River. Wisconsin's over there. That bridge goes to Wisconsin and that one goes down. a good view from up here. See the whole area. It's kind of neat because we walked around there earlier and then drove around, walked around and drove around. Now I'm getting a bird's eye perspective so now I know exactly what I'm looking at from up high. Fourth Street Elevator built in 1882 by J.K. Graves for his own convenience and rebuilt in, after the fire in 1884. Originally operated by steam and then electricity in 1893. In 1912, C.B. Trewin acquired control to date. His family owned and operates for use and enjoyment to the public. I mean, that was a long time ago, so I don't even know if that's even still happening. It has been described as the world's steepest, shortest scenic railway, 296 feet in length, elevating passengers 189 feet from 4th Street to Fiddle and Place. Great view of the Mississippi River in three states. Doors closing. Down we go. Down we go. Yeah. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is more away. Yeah, take a look at this. A bunch of satellite dishes up there. drove out to the outskirts of town where there's this rather large placard historic Dubuque the key city of Iowa formed a part of what became French Louisiana when Joliet and Marquette paddled by in 1673 there's the mighty Mississippi Mississippi River Way off on the other side of town. Well, this is interesting. All these bees live in the ground. The little nests in the ground. Or maybe they're flies. They look like bees. Could be mayflies. Julian Dubuque in the mines of Spain. Saw the mural with him earlier. He was born in January 1762. There's an artist depiction of Julian Dubuque. I 
realize this is where he's laid to rest. Oh, is yeah. it he actually there? Or is it just a like? I don't a know memorial? if it's like a memorial or not. There's like longer trails elsewhere. Found over our city. Sure. March twenty fourth, eighteen ten, passed away. Uh -huh. Got this little gate here. Can't get in. He's inside there, or at least that's the my little oh, memorial. That's gonna do it for today. Oh, I hear the train going by. Looking down at Dubuque, Iowa. Been a nice day. Doing a little exploring. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Last thing, there is a Bull Durham ghost sign here on the side of this wall. That is awesome. You don't see those too often. Tobacco Company sign, not the Kevin Costner film. Although there was another Kevin Costner movie filmed in Iowa about baseball.